What is good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another review. This is Not Your Average Sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey, and today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 5 Off-White Sale. Now, if this is your first time here, thank you guys for watching the video. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel. We will be doing a giveaway at some time, either this week or next week. The channel has hit 500 subscribers. Thank you guys all for joining the Not Your Ever Sneakerhead family. So to give back to you guys, I will be giving a $50 gift card to the online sneaker store of your choice. All you have to do to be interested in the giveaway is one, subscribe to the channel, of course, Two, leave this video a thumbs up. And three, leave a comment down below. You can comment anything you want. You can say hello, you can say a trash shoe, you can say I commented, doesn't matter. If you leave a comment below on this video, you will be interested in the giveaway. Thank you guys again for joining the Not Your Ever Sneakerhead family. Look forward to bringing you guys more fire content, more shoes just like this one going forward. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and talk about this Air Jordan 5 Off-White sale. Now the Jordan 5 Off-White in the cell colorway released on Thursday, October 29th for a retail price of $225. These actually released in full family sizing. So you had, of course, the adult sizes, then you had the, uh, the kid sizes. So that would be, I think, what? 12C through 3Y, and then you also had these in toddler sizes. So it gives me the impression there might have been a lot, I won't say a lot, but there was a pretty good amount of stock of these, but they were still pretty difficult to grab. Personally, I was able to grab mine via a uh, raffle from my local uh, sneaker boutique, Corporate. So thank you to uh, Corporate for not only having that great raffle for people of the city of Cincinnati, but also helping me out get grabbing these uh, sneakers right here for retail. Can't thank them enough for at least giving me a shot to uh, pick these up on release day. Maybe you guys get a review of them. What's good, YouTube? So I'm down here at this event, picking up these off-white Jordan 5s. Shout out to Corporate for uh, for making this happen for the city. Uh, if you don't know about Corporate, local sneaker store out here in Cincinnati, always looking out for their uh, their local. So pretty dope. When I get inside, get you guys some more footage. Now the Jordan Off-White Cell is also the second colorway of the Jordan 5 Off-White that Virgil has done. He did a black pair that released, I believe it was All-Star Weekend 2020. I'm gonna grab those off the shelf for you guys so you guys can see a quick look at what those look like in comparison to this one if you, are, if you have not already seen it. So here's what the black pair looks like. And we'll do a quick comparison video between this one and the Cell colorway a little bit later on in the week. But now let's talk about this one here as this is the one that's gonna be all the buzz right now. First things first, let's take a look at the box. So the Off-White Jordan 5 does come in this box that has some holes on it. You guys can see that there. This is the exact same box that the five, uh, the black colorway came in. So you do have a red jump in on the top. You do have two holes on the top with some plastic underneath the holes. So that plastic right there underneath the holes. You have a jump man and air on that side, jump man air on this side as well. Same side uh, as your sizing label. And the official colorway is Sail, Fire Red, Muslin, and Black. And I got these in an eight and a half. As I mentioned, they retail for $225. And there is the label tag. Once you open the box up, it is a flip top box. So you just open it up like that. Then you do have this clear paper with off-white and uh, Jordan brand. You have the big black Jumpman branding right in the middle of it. You also do have uh, some off-white print on the paper and sneakers right up under it. 
So that's how your unboxing experience should be. So if you are picking these up from a local reseller, make sure that all the details of your box are correct so you're not getting taken advantage of uh, with some fakes because that is all the rage nowadays. People are selling fakes of these uh, these hyped up sneakers left and right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sneakers. So as you guys can see, this is in an all sale colorway, but it's actually a very heavily saturated sale. So it's probably more uh, cream than it is sale and it's all over the sneaker. There are some panels that are a little bit more creamish looking than some others. And we'll look at those in detail here coming up here in a sec. Start off here with the toe box. So toe box of the sneaker, you do have what looks like a ripstop material all over the toe box. And you can see it has a little bit of a diamond pattern on it. And that is on the entire upper of the sneaker. And the edges are also slightly unfinished all along the sneaker as well. You guys can see that in the camera. So you have that sail in this like ripstop material all over the sneaker. Then looking at the lateral side of the sneaker, you do also have some sail paneling. You do have uh, the little bit of the netting right there. And that is aged a little bit that looks more yellowish than sail. And actually the camera's picking up the color of it pretty well too. So how you guys see it in camera, that is actually how it looks in person. Then where the, the lace eyelets are, that is uh, plastic. And those are also aged as well to look more yellowish. Some people say they look more like piss than yellow, but it's however uh, you want to call it. They are more yellow than the rest of the upper. You do have some uh, cream colored laces. So they're supposed to be in sale, but they look more cream than the rest of the upper. So they're a tiny shade darker than the rest of the upper. For the lace lock that is also aged, you do have a red lace lock in the middle of the lace lock holder right there. They also do come with this white cardboard piece right under the lace lock to protect the reflective tongues. So the tongues are full reflective and we'll go ahead and give you guys a look of that um, 3M once we get into some on foot shots of the sneaker. These are also designed after the fire red Jordan 5s from 1990, I wanna say, because the pair that Jordan had was a little bit different than the silver tongue that we got earlier in 2020. Jordan this pair actually has number 23 on the back of it and this is what this one is set up to mimic whereas the retail pair of uh, Fire Red 5 Silver Tongues that released in 2020 did not have the 23 on the side of it. I have those up here as well. Let me go ahead and grab those off the shelf. So here's the 2020 Fire Reds. You see there is no 23 on the side of them. I've actually worn these a few times and this is probably one of my favorite sneakers so far to release this year. Now back to the Off-White Jordan 5. So you do have that red 23 at the heel of the sneaker. Then on the very back of the sneaker, you do have the Nike Air branding in black. And that is right under the ripstop material. Probably one of my favorite details about this sneaker. And you also do have these cutouts all over the sneaker as well. When Virgil did a debut, the Off-White Jordan 5, he actually cut out the, the little holes on his sneakers. I would not be doing that. I actually like the way they look with the holes in them. So I'm gonna leave them just as is. And that hole is see-through, so you can see your socks through it, depending on what kind of socks you wear. Then we'll move on to the medial side of the right sneaker. And you do have that classic off-white text. And this one reads, uh, off-white for Nike Air Jordan 5, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, uh, 1990 under it. And it's really hidden behind the material. So it's kind of hard for you to see it, but it is definitely there. They also come with this little tag right here attached to them that says made in China. That's on all the off-white Jordan uh, sneakers so far. And they can laced up really tight as well. Not sure why they always do that, but it is what it is. I'm gonna actually throw these on feet, show you guys what they look like. So I'll get these lacing up here in a second. And you also do get two extra lace options. So you get some red laces. And you also do get some black laces along with the cell laces that come with the sneakers. Cardboard shoe tree is actually wrapped in some plastic paper. So if you were just come with a different shoe tree, I would be skeptical of that. And looking at the shoelaces, you do have the classic shoelace text at the end of the laces. Now looking at the tongue, you do have that full reflective silver tongue with a red stitch Jumpman in it. Get you guys a close up shot of that Jumpman is stitched in there pretty well. And the tongue does still have this deconstructed look. Actually the entire top of the sneaker does. So you have some exposed foam all along the edges of the top of the sneaker and the tongue. And on the back of the tongue, you do have that upside down Air Jordan tag. And the tongue also is a little bit off center because the side of the tongue on the side of the tongue on this side has been cut a little bit like the circles in the sneaker. And the left sneaker actually has a little bit of a different look. So I'll show you guys how that left sneaker looks as well. Taking a look at the left sneaker. So the overall construction of the upper is almost identical to the right sneaker, except for this one does have that zip tie on it. And the zip tie is the same color as the eye lace holes. So it's not quite 
yellow it's not quite sale it's somewhere like in the middle and it does have some branding on it that reads off-white care of nike uh it's c2020 and it says zip tie on it as well you guys can see that detail on the zip tie there let's get these shoe strings laced up i really hate how hard they lace these sneakers up man they like choke the sneaker to death that's how the, the off-white text looks on the left sneaker because you need to see that to legit check sneakers if you're trying to buy these on the uh from a reseller locally and this left tongue you do have the circular cutoff is actually on the tongue and that's one thing that when you start wearing these off-white fives because the tongue has some deconstruction to it when you wear it the tongue actually moves around a lot within the sneaker so that can be a little bit annoying depending on how hard you lace these up i wear mine kind of loose so that tongue does move around a little bit but it is what it is take a look at the outsole so the outsole is made to look more more aged as well you do have herringbone traction with a red jump man at the toe of the outsole some uh, translucent uh, rubber right here with the nike branding and you do have these two yellowish uh, pods up here at the front and back here at the heel and they are made to look aged we can also take a look at the midsole you guys can see how that midsole is finished and this is done to mimic the fire red as well so you have the black outsole with the uh, shark teeth right there some of that uh, yellow sole peeking through then you also do have an aged air bubble and this does use a polyurethane midsole so they are somewhat comfortable when you do have them on foot check out the insole of the sneakers you guys can see that how that looks standard black polyurethane insole does have nike air branding at the heel of it and this is how the back of the insole looks for a uh, legit pairs and this one it's an aj <laughs> as i mentioned before it's it always cracks me up how Jordan brand has these uh, insoles branded if you take them out. So on this one, it actually says AJ1 on the insole, has your uh, size, so this one fits a seven and a half to an eight and a half, and those numbers also all over the insole. In case you need to reference that for legit check purposes. Again. Take a look at the stitching on the inside of the sneaker. That's how the stitching on the inside of the sneaker looks under the insole. So if you guys wanna get a close up shot of that, just in case you guys wanna pause that part of the video to get a good look of how the stitching on the inside is for legit check purposes. Quick question for you guys in the comment section down below too. If you do own any off-white Nike sneakers, do you wear those with the zip ties on them or do you take them off? Um, I have worn mine both ways. It doesn't really bother me too much because once you actually get the sneakers on, get them uh, tightened up a little bit and get them uh, on foot, the zip tie doesn't move around too much. So I probably would just leave the zip tie on this one to give it a little bit more of that off-white character. But if you took them off, it doesn't really make a difference. Just curious to know what you guys do. Do you guys take yours off or do you guys rock them? Now in terms of sizing for the off-white Jordan 5s, typically with Jordan 5s, I size down a half size I'm a true size eight and a half I have a very narrow foot uh, but with all well, usually with normal Jordan 5s I have to size down because they fit me a little bit bigger but this one I would say go true to size in because of the deconstructed uh, nature of the sneaker for some reason they just fit me a little bit differently I can go with an eight and a half and these my foot fits in these pretty fine actually they're very comfortable too because this upper all this uh, extra padding and exposed foam within the sneaker makes them a little bit more comfortable when you're wearing these casually whereas normal Jordan 5s they tend to be uh, more bulky up top and squeeze my foot but with this one I actually prefer rocking these over normal Jordan 5s for the comfort aspect of it last but not least to talk about the resale value of these sneakers so before release these are going for around $1,500 so before any hype sneaker released you're always going to pay the most money early so if you want to get an early sneaker you're going to be paying the, the high high for them but once these released I feel like there were a good amount of pairs of these because there were lots of early pairs that were floating around the sneaker market. Then once they dropped, it seemed like a lot of people were actually able to acquire these and the prices on these dipped all the way down to $600. Right now, they're right around that low six to mid $600 range. And I think that these will actually go up in value over time. Similar how the black ones were. Black ones had a similar uh, trajectory to them, but the black ones now are somewhere between seven to 800 bucks, depending on your size. And I think this one will end up being run the same way. If you don't know about uh, off-white Jordan sneakers, they always start lower than what they end up. For instance, the off-white UNC Jordan 1s, at some point you can get those for right around $1,000. Now they're going for close to two grand, if not more. And the off-white Chicago's used to be around 1500 or so. Right now it's a $4,000 sneaker if you still had a DS. So if you did pick these up for retail and want to hold them to try to uh, maximize your investment, hold them for about a year or so because that's when you're going to get the, the best return on your investment on these. I wouldn't sell those right now because right now the market is flooded 
with them with people that just bought them strictly to quick flip. And if you got yours to hold long term, then wait, sit on them for about a year or so and get the best return on your investment. I think this will end up being around a 900 buck plus shoe somewhere down the line. So that's it for most of the major details. Let's go ahead and get these both loosened up, get them on feet and show you guys exactly how they look on foot with the different lace options. That's gonna do it for my review of the Off-White Jordan 5 in the sale colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway down in the comment section below. A lot of people like the black pair a little bit better because they're more wearable. Personally, I like this one better because it has more character, but the black pair is for sure easier to rock on a day-to-day -day basis. But if I had to pick one out of the two, I probably would pick this one because I think it makes a little bit more of a statement. Stands out much more than the black pair. I just really like how this uh, this wild look to this one uh, is. I, I think the, the red hits on the sneaker too actually make them pop and give it enough contrast. Whereas the black one, let's go ahead and grab that one. The black one, without the off-white details and the zip tie, of course, it's just like a, a basic black off-white sneaker. So. I would pick the sale one, in my opinion. I've actually already worn these a couple of times, so you guys can see the bottom of them are a little bit dirty. But um, I would probably pick the sale to keep, but to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably would go with these because they're more wearable. That's gonna do it from my review. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Off-White Jordan 5 sale. If you hit on these, let me know. And if you do plan to pick these up for resale, let me know as well, because I'm very curious to see what you guys think. And I always respond to pretty much every comment that you guys leave me. So if you guys leave a comment, I will comment back. Thank you guys again for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. This has been Not Your Average Sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. And I'll catch you guys on my next review. Peace.